Hello again. In the previous video, we looked at some of the ways that ChatGPT was being used in the Unity game engine. One of the most promising use cases involved using GPT AIs to generate real-time dialogue for non-player characters in games and simulations. One demo that I covered was a VR experience in which the user talks to a virtual therapist. In this demo, the user can converse with the therapist completely naturally, simply by speaking through a microphone. Through the use of OpenAI's GPT service, the virtual therapist can interpret the user's speech and give a relevant and natural-sounding response. I also covered an open-source Unity package, which helps to easily integrate OpenAI's GPT services into your own Unity projects. Anyway, if you want to know more about these projects, please take a look at my previous video titled Exploring the Fusion of Unity and ChatGPT AIs. Link in the description. Since my last video, I've been trying out a developer platform designed specifically for creating AI-driven characters for virtual worlds. The platform is called InWorld. It can be found at inworld.ai. The InWorld platform allows you to easily create AI characters that can converse in real time via GPT-generated dialogue. Your AI characters can be given suitable 3D avatars, and there are integrations to bring your completed creations into game engines such as Unity or Unreal. InWorld has a very simple and intuitive web UI for creating characters. It allows you to easily define your character's personality and backstory. The InWorld character engine has some impressive additional features. For example, a character's emotional state can change dynamically during a conversation, and this not only affects their responses, but also the tone of their voice. Facial expressions and body language also change accordingly. You can even set up triggers and events in your game world that your characters can respond to. What's great is that your character can be set up and then brought into Unity, for example, without writing any code. If you want to see an example of what can currently be achieved using InWorld, then a great showcase would be the InWorld Origins demo. This is a game running on the Unreal Engine that puts you in the role of a crime scene investigator in a futuristic cyberpunk city. You are placed at the scene of a robot factory explosion and you are tasked with finding out who is responsible. You do this by questioning bystanders and witnesses in the vicinity of the factory. You talk to the game characters through your microphone, and they respond through AI-generated speech. Here's a short segment from the InWorld Origins trailer. What do you know about the crime scene? What are you doing here? Is it dangerous here? It's hard to say. We're still piecing together the evidence. I saw some humans running away from the building shortly after the fire started. Detective, I believe someone is watching us. This is a delicate situation. Let the professionals handle it. We wouldn't want anyone to get hurt, now would we? Why would you say that? Listen carefully, detective. This is no place for a rookie cop. If you know what's good for you, then turn back now before someone gets hurt. InWorld Origins is just a technical demo, which is a shame as I would love to play something like this as a full game. In any case, you can learn more about it at inworld.ai slash origins. I hope this has given you some inspiration. I will now show you how to create your own AI character, using the InWorld platform. First, navigate to the InWorld homepage, inworld.ai. Click on the Get Started button in the top right of the page. Select one of the Sign Up options. Once you have signed up, you will need to accept InWorld's terms and conditions. You should now have access to your personal InWorld Studio page. This is where you will create your in-world characters and scenes. Notice that you have been set up with a default workspace, and this has been populated with a handful of example characters. I would recommend that you chat with a few of them before moving on and creating your own character. If you would like more characters to chat with, then go to the arcade section at inworld.ai slash arcade. Here you will find a wide selection of AI personas to interact with made by the community. Okay, let's get on with the business of creating a character. Go back to the studio page. First of all, we will create a fresh workspace. Click on the change button next to workspace in the left sidebar. Now simply click on the create new workspace button and give your workspace a name. I've already created a new workspace here called interesting people. Make sure your new workspace is selected and return to the studio page. Your new workspace should not contain any characters yet. Let's create one now. Click the Create New Character button. As an example, 
I'm going to create an AI character based on the visionary scientist, Nikola Tesla. Please feel free to create your own unique character, however. Let's start by entering a name and a core description. Now click on the Create button. Our character has been created. However, I still want to flesh out the Nikola Tesla character by adding some more details and tweaking some of his personality settings. So I'm going to click on Continue to Character Creation. Let's add some motivations and also some flaws, challenges, and insecurities. Next, let's scroll down to the Identity section. Let's specify his pronouns, his role, and his stage of life. Let's add some hobbies and interests. Finally, if you are recreating a well-known character, which is the case with Nikola Tesla, you can supply a Wikipedia link. Now scroll down to the Personality section. Add some character traits. There's also a collection of sliders with which you can further define your character's mood and personality. Let's move on to the Facts and Knowledge section. The first item here is the Personal Knowledge text box. Here you can enter anything that this character knows or believes personally. Please be aware, you need to enter each statement of knowledge in a specific way. When referring to the character, always use the word character enclosed in curly braces. Below this is a reference to the Common Knowledge Repository. Common Knowledge is where you would enter any knowledge that all the characters in a game world would share. Since we are only working with one character in this example, we will ignore this for now. Next up are the voice and dialogue style sections. I'm going to leave the voice alone and skip to dialogue styles. Scroll down to the dialogue style section. There are a number of dialogue styles to choose from, and you can even create a custom one. We will, however, stick with the default style for Mr. Tesla. Note, however, the example dialogue text box. Here I have added a number of quotes by Tesla, which will serve to further define his dialogue style. Notice the goals and actions section. This allows our character to react to events in a game world. I have left this blank for now, but we will return to it later, once we have integrated our character into a Unity project. Finally, we have the Scenes section. Scenes describe the surroundings in which a character finds themselves. We will come back to this shortly, but first, I'd like to set up Mr. Tesla's avatar. Scroll back to the top of the page. You will see an avatar thumbnail next to the character name. Click on it. The Edit Avatar panel will appear. I'm going to drag a portrait of Nikola Tesla onto the 2D avatar image. Now, click on the Configure 3D Avatar tab, followed by the Configure 3D Avatar button. A panel will appear asking you to choose a body type. In my case, I'm going to select Masculine. You are now asked for a selfie image of your character, from which an initial avatar will be created. I will reuse the Nikola Tesla portrait for this. Click the Accept button. An avatar will now be created based upon the supplied image. Once your avatar is ready, an avatar editor will appear, where you can make further refinements. I'm simply going to select a suit for Nikola. Click the Next button to exit the editor. Okay, we are almost done. The last thing I want to do is add a scene to our workspace. To do this, select Scenes in the left sidebar. Hit the Create New Scene button. Now fill out the scene name and description. Since my character is Tesla, I'm going to define his New York laboratory. I'm going to add Tesla to this lab scene. Okay, we are finished here. Click the Save button. Let's test our character. Click on Characters in the sidebar. Now hover over your character's thumbnail and select Chat. You can now engage in conversation with your AI character. Okay, that's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed creating your first in-world AI character. In the next part, we will take things a step further by importing your in-world character into a Unity project. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. Goodbye and see you in the next video.